You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and today I have uh I got a package here from Jet Pens. It's been a little while since I ordered stuff from Jet Pens because I just kind of have my cart sitting there waiting uh, for uh, the right time to order things. And uh, I just went ahead and hit the go button this time. So I don't, I don't actually remember exactly what is in here that made me go, yeah, I have to have this. But I think we'll see as I uh, as I dig through this box. Uh, by the way, uh, Binge made Crooked River today opening our packages. Nice, big, beautiful knife to get in here. Uh, that's why it was tough. It was double layered right there. All right, let's get into here. Uh, first up, uh, this one. This is a Lit Lab Pastello Twist Ring Notebook. This is an A6. It's pretty small. Gives you some nice lined paper. I don't. I kind of think this is probably going to be good for, good for fountain pens, but I haven't tried this before. Let me see if I can remember how this opens. I think there's a mechanism to it. You see, there's a little spring right here on the spine. And something here opens. All right, I found this on the site. These are only like $3.40, so this is not terribly expensive. It says with a simple twist, they open. How do you, what's the twist? Do you just grab some? How does this, how this twist though? Hey, editing Mike here. And let me tell you, I have never had more trouble getting a notebook to open like ever. But once I do get it, it's actually pretty simple. So, you know, keep watching. I'll get there, I promise. <laughs> I found it. Okay, so closing it very easy. So the way you open it is you just kind of grab it and go like this. And I like just give a slight downward motion like this and it will pop right open. It actually has instructions here on this first page. Um that's that's simpler than it than it looks and harder to figure out than you would think. So there it is. It shows you right there what to do, and then you just kind of pinch it back together. So just go like this and it pops right open. That's actually really ingenious. I don't, wow, that's, that's interesting. Okay, whoops, oops, I messed it up. There we go, I gotta get all these back in here before you do that. And you just kind of smoosh it back together. That's really neat, you can add a bunch more pages to this. I think that's very cool. How hard does it do when you have a bunch of pages going? Oh, super easy. Yeah, once you know the trick, this thing is dead simple. So check this out, this is the, um, the little lab pastello twistering notebook. Just kind of give it a little, huh? I am delighted with that. All right, let's try out this paper right quick, see how it works. Uh, here we go, I'll try this. This is a pretty wet nib, see if I can handle this. This is a uh, Franklin Christoph double broad SIG with G Gierbon Shogun, which is a really beautiful glossy black ink with a bunch of shimmer in it. Let's give it something a little bit weird. This is a uh, this is an Esterbrook Model J in that orchid um, orchid color. I forget exactly the name of the color. I think it, I'll put it down here. Yeah, this is a broad nib and it's Sailor 280. Let's see how this how this is working out? Yeah, all right. So it's starting to dry. You can see some of the shimmer popping out of the Urban there on the Shogun. The Sailor Ink Studio dried immediately. This is a lot of ink that it's putting down with that. Let's see. See how it went for show through a tiny amount of show through no bleed though. That's pretty good, especially with a double broad with a fairly wet ink, putting down a whole bunch of ink there. You can actually see the paper like did buckle a little bit from the extra moisture being thrown at it right there, but that'll flatten itself out as it dries. So I'm not worried about that at all. That's uh, that's pretty good. I'm impressed with that performance. Did it have any, have any, whoop. That have any, uh, no, not a single feather on there. You can see the Shogun is now shining. Beautiful. All right, that worked really well. I'm not getting a huge number of tones here from the Ink Studio 280. I think maybe, I mean, you can definitely see some of the, the shading and some of the weird colors there, but yeah, looks good. I'm impressed with that. All right, well done, Lahit Lab. Definitely check out the twist note. That is, that is kind of a, can I do it again? That is a delightful mechanism. I really like that. That's a lot of fun. I don't think it's going to come undone out of, um, accidentally either. I think it's going to be... It's be pretty good. All right, well, I'm gonna let that make sure it's dry before I close it up and smear ink around. But yeah, I was getting caught. All right, my paper got caught a little bit. Oh, I didn't have the I didn't have the rings completely closed. Once they're closed, I haven't had the paper catch on it. It's very smooth, but I hadn't closed every single one of them. So you do have to be careful to make sure that you run your fingers down it and close all of them. But this comes in a lot of sizes. And I like that a lot. I love being able to put uh, paper in and take paper out of a notebook. And that's great. So 
Yeah, neat. That's a win. All right, especially for like three under three fifty. Was it three dollars and forty cents for the A six? A five is six seventy five. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Comes in a bunch of colors. Check it out. Neat. All right, what's up next? Let's do this big thing first. I didn't know it was gonna come. I didn't know it was gonna come in a set like this. I don't have. I don't have a thing I can test this on actually at the moment. Let me see if I can find a whiteboard. One sec. Okay, I just grabbed, you can see the reflection of all my gear up here. I just went ahead and grabbed my calendar. This is just some calendar stuff um, with you know, a couple of birthdays and Mr. Nose going to the vet and me going to the dentist. This is the Markathon Pump Dry Erase Marker, and this comes with an eraser caddy. This is a really interesting thing, and so I had to check it out. I've never used this type before. I do have a favorite type of whiteboard marker, um, and they are the the board masters but this pump action dry erase marker seems like it would be really cool so you never get caught with a dry marker again you like have this little pump thing and just like blasts ink into the into the tip might be pretty cool massive ink capacity sealed tank means no lost ink no ink lost to dry out ink reservoir keeps the tip ready to write even when left uncapped yeah i kind of dig the idea so let's see how this works these are my favorite ones, by the way. The Board Master. This is a great one. You can also get these at Jet Pens. So uh, that's what I did all of these here with. So let's grab some of these. We got four colors. And then this is an eraser underneath, which is pretty handy. This set looks like it was $16.50, which is not, uh, not super cheap, but these seem like a really interesting idea. So I'm like, I got to try this out. I, I love a dry erase marker. Oh, look, you got the uh, the ink level here on the side as well. That's handy. You can tell how much ink you have left. Uh, take off the cap and hit the... Oh, you put the cap on and that pumps it. Okay, so you can't accidentally... Uh, you can squoosh it if you try hard enough, but um, do you right now? Actually, it writes just fine right now. We don't even need to pump it, but let's go ahead and pump it anyway. Yeah, that's a nice affirmative click when you pump the uh, the marker. That's really good. Uh, this chisel tip is nice, it gives you a good, uh, like a fine line if you want, and also a nice broad line if that's your deal. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's um, just look at what these other colors are like. That's a really common sort of green for these whiteboard markers. It's never a dark green, it's usually like this kind of emeraldy green. You got some red here, that's a good red, I like that. And then uh, black, how's the black? Probably pretty standard. Ooh, that's a nice dark black. Okay, these are good. I'm impressed. Let's try our eraser here. Uh, yeah, eraser is erasing well, so that's neat. This is probably gonna go to my office with me, which is where I primarily get to use a whiteboard uh, or, <laughs> or here at home on my calendar stuff, but. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm doing pretty well at erasing these without being able to see much past them. This eraser is definitely better for erasing large things than smaller things. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah, it erased pretty cleanly too. This is uh, this is pretty nice. It's not very soft. But it does have a good, uh, good felty cover there. So I'm gonna call these good. I'm into it. These uh, these pen tells. These are the ones that I like the most, which are Pilot Boardmasters. And I have not taken the the plastic off of this, but once you run out of ink in these, and I'm getting. This one has plenty in it still, but some of them I'm getting pretty low on because I do use them a lot. You can buy um, refills for them. You just pop this off and pop a new one on and bam, you're ready to go. And these have a nice variety of tip sizes. So we have a fairly small tip here. Um, did I get an orange one in this order? Hmm, I may have gotten an orange one, I don't know. But then there are others. So like this one has another smaller tip. Is this the big one? Yeah, this one has a big wide tip on it. You also get them in chisel and stuff. I like all the options on these, but let me tell you, these uh, these new ones here, these Pentel injector pumps, that's pretty good. All right. I like it. Neat. All right. So next up, there are three of things here. I remember why I bought these actually. Uh, and that's because I really love these Kurataki Zig. These are great things here. I've been using these two, which you can tell I've been using them because they're kind of messy. Like if you look at the cap, it's like got, you know, ink all up in there. But I really love these. These are dot markers. And so there are a couple of different kinds. These have a brush on the end. So you have a big brushy tip. And then this one has sort of a porous point, fine point on the end. And they each have a big deal on the back, which will just keep using this notebook. That's very convenient, which will give you the ability to just make a dot if you want to, or just like big lines, or you can do a little bitty fine lines for writing notes. And this one gives you a brushy tip on one end 
and then the dot there and this is metallic and i really like the metallic one so i'm like i need more of these and so i was trying to decide what colors to get and i ended up going with um this one which is like a cranberry metallic of some kind and this one is called fawn all right so yeah this is called uh this is metallic red and this is fawn let me just get this one open right quick i can't get this out there we go wow that was really tough that's tough to get out and i you can see I brushed it against the side there, and now I've got red ink all over my hands. So we'll see what this metallic red looks like first. Ooh, that is a that is a cool color. And then this has the brush end on the end. Oh, this is a this is a slightly less wide brush than that one. Maybe it's just newer, and the other one used to be stiffer as well. I don't know, but wow, look at that metallic red. That is beautiful. Really like a little bit of silver metallic action in there and nothing coming through this paper. This lit lab paper is very good. I'm I'm getting more and more impressed with this. Those are wet markery action there and no problem. All right, let's see what fawn is. I grabbed this one because it seemed like a weird color, but I uh, get a dot. Oh, this one's pretty pale. I don't know if this is going to be my cup of tea. This one might have been too pale. I might have messed up with fawn, but... Uh, it's it's interesting. I, I think this is going to be too light. I don't like that one so much. That's not great. I think with these, uh, the metallic ones are the ones that really uh, shine. But I really like them. That's actually quite wet. This one seems kind of pale. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like the fawn. It'll probably come in handy somewhere. But uh, these two, well, these, these three are very good. The red is very nice. But these metallic ones, get the get the Kuretake Zig clean color dot metallic ones. I've got two of these, obviously, and I like these the best. So go with these. The red one is quite good. Fawn is, that's pretty light. We'll have to see what it looks like on some other papers at some point, but pretty darn light, the fawn there. I don't know about that one. And then this one I actually got, this is a Pilot Juice 0.5 millimeter. And the reason I got this is because I have a pen I want to put this refill in. Uh, you know what? I don't remember what pen I was going to put this in. I think it was a tactile turn, but... I can't think of which one I need to put a purple in. I don't know. This is like a wine metallic uh, juice. It's called dark red. I'm going to go ahead and take the little cap off this because I'm definitely going to use it. It's a beautiful color. And I really like how the Pilot Juice writes. I think the juice for me is preferable to the G2. And so I take out the G2 refills that come with tactile turns a lot of times. And I'll throw Pilot Juice refills in there because I like them a little bit better. And they come in a lot of colors to match all the weird um, all the weird colors you get from tactile turns. But yeah, I, I can't remember which one I got this to go into. Who cares? It's dark red and I like it. So I'm going to put it in something. So look at that metallic. It's like actually shining on my finger. That's a great ink. Fawn meh metallic red. That's a banger. Whew, it's kind of a maroon color. Dig it. All right. So this little package here has a few things that I wanted to try out. And when I go to, to the jet pin site, I just kind of throw stuff in my cart. And then at some point I just buy it. Like that's just how it goes. And probably it's that way for you as well. So this is washi tape in the form of little stamps. And I really like this format because I'll just use one at a time. I'll tear them off along their perforation and just use the one. So this is daily like masking tape stamp. And these are number five, Animal 2, which is pretty fun. Let's go ahead and get in here. These are really great for planners or just adding a little bit of interest to the corner of a uh, corner of a letter you're writing or something like that. Oh, those came off too. Well, there we go. So we have here two bears who have caught a fish in an ice hole. We've got here a dog with some bones. We've got a red panda. Love that. We have a, uh, three dogs with a little ball on its head. This is great stuff. Uh, these are very fun. I love this style. This is just too fun to leave alone. So I had to grab this. Very good stuff there. And then I grabbed this little paintbrush. And my idea for the paintbrush here, this is uh, Beverly made in Japan. This is a little, little paintbrush stamp. It looks like this. Very nice, clean stamp. Look at look at that rubber on there. That looks great. I don't have a stamp pad handy, but my idea for this is to kind of like put the stamp on here for things like uh, color swatches and that sort of thing, and then do the swatch this way. So it kind of looks like the brush is kind of painting the swatch. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, but that's my idea for this. And I think it should be fun. So there we go. A little brush stamp. And then lastly, uh, for this little package here, I had to get this, I had to get this, uh, this pin. This is the Jet Doe enamel pen this was not a very expensive enamel pen i don't love the back i'm gonna get a locking back for this because i'm a locking back fanatic but look at this person 
I love that little jet pin. This one is going to go on my lanyard for pin shows. If you see me at a pin show, I'll be rocking this little little jet pins, jet dough pin. That's nice. That's uh, got to be a hard enamel, too. It doesn't feel like a soft enamel. It's, it's nice. Shiny, hard, yeah, very clean. Dig it. All right. Uh, penultimately, <laughs> I have this pencil sharpener. I had a couple of pencil sharpeners, maybe three of them in my cart at one point. And this is the one that was in stock when I bought this thing. So I dithered on some of the other ones and they went out of stock. So that's fine. I mean, how many pencil sharpeners do I need? But this is supposed to be able to give you five different lengths of pencil sharpening. This is the Tagal from Stad. I, I don't know the Stad Tagal sounds pretty dope. And when I was talking to people about these, people were like, oh, yeah, no, I absolutely know what that is. So it says close. All right, so that closes this thing. And then you open. Ah, aha. You open this. What changes? What moves here? Huh. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with this. Is there their instructions? So, I don't know, cram a point in the, a pencil in there. As you go, how do you open this thing? Does it hinge? I bet it hinges. Looks like a hinge over here. Oh, no, nope, it's not. Haha, <laughs> it's not either. It's got a slidey deal. Glad I. So I don't force things. I just kind of twiggle with stuff until it works. So yeah, that's how you empty it. But when you move this dial, what is it that makes it. I can't tell. Huh. I don't know how this works. Let's see if I have some pencils to sharpen. Yeah, I got a few pencils here I can try to sharpen. I usually use a black po uh, black wing like long point sharpener for my pencils because uh, I like uh, I like a longer point on there. This one's not. This must have been one of the other ones. Uh, let's sharpen up this one. This is a black wing six five one. Which one's a long point here? We've got. Um, well, let's just do a one first. Let's start at one and kind of go. All right, so I'm going to twist this to the one right there. Put it in there. Got our Bruce Lee uniform going on here <laughs> with this sharpener. Right, we're getting there. Oh, that's going to be fun. Actually, maybe I'm going to like this one. Look at that adorable little, uh, little sharpening edge there. Also, this is making very pretty uh, sharpening bits. <gasps> That's cute. Okay. You know what? Uh, I don't know if I need any of the rest of these. Tagal multi sharpener. You have made me very happy with this adorable little one there. All right. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's do a two. All right. All right, so compared to this, yeah, it is different. It's definitely a different size point. That's really, um, that's really fun, and I, I kind of love that. All right, let's do a, let's do something bigger. Uh, let's do a, let's sharpen up one of these Halloween ones. I've got, I've got only got one of these. Uh, let's go for a five. We're going all the way to a five. I don't know how this is accomplishing this feat, but it's really interesting. Okay, this is a good sharpener. I'm digging it. I like the weird stuff it's doing here. I don't know how it's doing it. It's employing definitely some kind of black magic. I love this little tiny point. It's super, super adorable. Uh, okay, cool. I'm a fan. Good job, Tagal. Uh, I dig it. I don't know how it works. It's still a mystery. I do like that I can close this off, though, so it doesn't just dump pencil shavings everywhere. But that's cool. This is a really cool sharpener. Well done, Tagal. Dig it. Okay, and one more thing. This is, I've remembered the reason why I bought this right now. And that's that this is a uh, Uniball Kuratoga pencil, the mechanical pencil. So I've done some more pencil content on this stream than I usually do. But uh, this is the limited edition uh, BT21 RJ. Uh, you know that Audrey and I are BTS fans, go army. And um, uh, RJ is my boy Jin's little uh, sheep boy. And I, uh, I love that character. And so I had to go ahead and try this pencil. This is a limited edition 
limited edition. I didn't want to. I didn't want to miss it. And I've been thinking about getting a Kuratoga. The cool thing about the Kuratoga is, is that as you use them, they sort of turn. Like the point rotates, so you always have like a sharp point there. And you don't get that one flat side like this. You'll get a uh, more uniform uh, uh, pencil point there, which I like. Or at least I like the idea. Actually, I got one of these for my dad, not the RJ version, but a different one. And uh, he really likes it, too. So, all right. Uh, no retractable pipe on this, which is too bad. I do like a retractable pipe. That's one of the things I'm a big fan of for mechanical pencils. Let's see if I can take some of this stuff apart. What do we have here? So this, oh, I can, oh, oh, neat. All right, so that rotates. That's got to be the thing that keeps the pencil point um, uniformly sharp. That's interesting. Interesting. And then I assume you load it in the back here. Yeah, yeah, there's the hole for throwing the lead in there. A little tiny eraser. You only use that eraser in an emergency, I think. But uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, that's a good that's a good pencil line. It's good. Good pencil line. I don't know if it'll continuously do it or if it'll only switch when I put the point down on the paper. So that's why I'm doing a bunch of different squiggles. All right, let's see. I mean, it's looking a little chiselly at the moment, but it is real early. I'm going to give this some time and some use and just see what this Kuratogo does. But uh, I do love the BT-21s. Uh, this, is, this is my boy RJ. So had to get this pencil, obviously. Glad I didn't miss it. I missed the multi-pens or whatever they did last time for these. So I didn't want to miss this one. All right, there you go. That's uh, That's been my little haul here from the Jet Pens. It's been a bit since I've gotten any Jet Pen stuff. And so uh, I'm glad I was able to get some really fun stuff like these here. Uh, these here things and this notebook that I am very impressed by works well with pencil and even marker and fountain pen and everything that's that's impressive oh we did go through a little bit here it did eventually bleed through just a skosh and this fawn one did try to go through oh that's interesting interesting I mean it didn't go all the way through but it did try to go through a bit so yeah I'm pretty impressed with this that's that's good but no no feathering no real bleed yeah, interesting stuff. Let's try this fawn one again just to see. Maybe it was not. That's was a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't all that wet when I started out. I'm not sure. But interesting. Interesting how it's kind of fading into the paper there. All right, cool. That's it. Go and, uh, you know, grab some stuff from Jet Pens. Find some weird stuff to put in your cart that you're going to love because I'm going to like all this stuff here that I threw in my cart. And until next time, peace out.